They survived on jam sandwiches smothered by cling film and flasks of tea ever since that closing whistle was sounded in the semi-final. Getting a ticket had been an obsession. There was a simple, blood-curdling dread about not being there on final day, like some dream in which you forget to attend your wedding. Failing to obtain a ticket would be catastrophic and would haunt you for years. It was possible to picture another ticketless you walking around your empty town, all the world behind a door and you locked out. So there you stood in a queue. Being at the end made you a board game counter, freshly fallen to the bottom tip of some snakes and ladders serpent. Right now, the distant front was the flickering lights of a faraway port. In between, this nervous column waited and intermittently shuffled forwards. All movements were furtive, inches, not feet, every person a pallbearer. It was hardly worth removing hands from pockets or unfolding arms, yet each tiny advance twinkled with hope. As the hours collapsed and you watched the sky alter in tones, it became possible to believe that a ticket would be yours.